girls and boys, it's Pretty Mama Yulia here, all the way from Ubud and Bali, where we're staying currently. And today we're going to talk about Angelina Jolie's vegan experiment. So a while ago Angelina Jolie decided to try a vegan diet, only to say that it nearly killed her, that she was not getting enough nutrition from it, and so she had to quit it. And that news was a golden opportunity for all the meat proponents, meat eating proponents, aka the paleo people and other people who promote animal based diets, to say that you're not going to get enough nutrition on a vegan diet. You should be afraid and you have to eat animal products or else you're going to bump into serious health issues. Now, let's talk about the nutritional side of a vegan diet to see whether or not you should really be concerned about it. So what's the biggest concern that people have when they hear vegan diet or a raw vegan diet? You've guessed it, it's protein. So apparently you cannot get enough protein from plants and you have to eat animal products. And strangely enough, that message is pr actually promoted by the meat and dairy industry and people haven't quite worked out yet that the meat and dairy industry actually wants them to eat meat and dairy products so that they can stay in business. Okay, the World Health Organization claims that you need to get 5% of your total daily calories from protein and that's plenty. So if you add a diet of just fresh fruits, greens and some nuts and seeds, which is a diet that we have been eating for the last five and a half years, guess how much protein you're going to get? Well, it's actually between 5 and 7%, which is plenty. So you're going to cover your protein needs just like that with ease. Besides, do you actually know anyone, anyone in the modern world suffering from protein deficiency? That's actually, it's a complete myth. And what we are seeing is that people are consuming too much protein in their diets. If we look around us, we see a lot of people who are obese, who die of cancer, who suffer from type 2 diabetes, who have kidney disorders, who have all kinds of health issues, and most of them are actually linked to high protein and high fat consumption in their diets. Another very, very important one to mention is that if you are overeating on protein and fat, you are going to be under eating on carbohydrates. You're also going to experience issues that are linked to underconsumption of carbohydrates, such as cravings, binges, skin breaks out and acne, allergies, hormonal dysfunction, lack of energy, blood sugar disorders such as hypoglycemia, candida, these are just the two that are linked to um, under consum consumption of carbohydrates and over consumption of protein and fat. So, you know, you get the picture that you're creating a lot of problems by not eating the right diet. Now, the next issue that many people are afraid of is B12. And the claim is that plant, plants don't have B12 in them. And that's true, they don't. However, ironically, the majority of meat eaters experience B12 deficiency. And B12 deficiency is not always due to a diet. Things like stress, alcohol consumption, smoking can all create B12 deficiencies. So what is likely to be the case is that people were already vitamin B12 deficient when they ate meat and uh, dairy products. Then they come and transition into vegan or raw vegan diets. Then they find out about this B12 thing. They go and test themselves and ha, they're low. So, you know, you've got to understand that vitamin B12 is actually a very complex subject and being a meat eater doesn't guarantee that you are going to be sufficient in vitamin B12 and if you're really concerned about it, if your levels are low, if you've tested yourself, then simply supplement. As simple as that. Now, another concern is vitamin D and that you're going to become vitamin D deficient on a vegan or raw vegan diet. Well, we've been on this lifestyle for five and a half years now. For five and a half years, we've been raw vegans. So we've been eating a diet of fresh, fresh raw fruits and vegetables. We are not vitamin D deficient at all. And we measured our levels and they, they were absolutely perfect. Now, 
if you live in cold climates, then you are at risk of becoming vitamin D deficient regardless what diet you eat. Okay, so taking, taking sunny breaks is the best way to get vitamin D and this is why we prefer to live in the tropics because you get plenty of natural sunlight here. And if you are low, if you have been tested low in vitamin D, then supplementation may be a very, very good route to take. Angelina Jolie said that her beauty secret is actually a juicy steak. Well, please don't make a juicy steak your beauty secret. Steak, animal products, dairy products contain no fiber. Okay, in order to be beautiful, your bowel, your digestive system has to be healthy. Your bowel has, you have to cleanse all the toxins that are going into your body and they could be dietary, they could be environmental. You've got to cleanse, you've got to flush it all out. So you have to eat food that is rich in fiber. And if you are clogged up with toxins, you will not look beautiful. Your skin will look oily, you will have eczema, you will have skin issues, you will have all kinds of issues and it's not, a, it's not a route to take. And this is why a diet of fresh, raw, uh, ripe, organic, possible, as much raw as possible, fruits and vegetables with some nuts and seeds, is the best diet. It's the most fiber-rich diet that you can find on the planet. The next one is vitamin C. And vitamin C is actually an antioxidant that you have to consume in your diet. And vitamin C is going to make you look youthful. Okay, so it's gonna, rever it's gonna help you reverse aging. So animal products don't contain vitamin C. So that's another, yet another reason to switch to diet of fresh, ripe, and as much raw as possible, fruits and vegetables with some nuts and seeds. So Angelina Jolie, probably like many people who try vegan or raw vegan diets, didn't do it the right way. She probably was under eating on calories and hence protein and hence all the other nutrients. She was probably not eating enough diversity in her diet, so you don't have to make that mistake. Can a vegan diet or raw vegan diet sabotage your health? It can, if you don't do it the right way. You have to do it the right way. So you have to be consuming an abundance of fresh, ripe, raw fruits and vegetables in your diet. Make your diet high carb and low fat. You have to ensure the right ratio of omega-3 and omega-6 and learn more about this lifestyle in order to make it your success. So if you're interested in it, feel free to grab a copy of our book, Thrive on Raw, and uh, get started there. Okay, so thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Enjoy eating fruit, enjoy feeling good, and eat sweet to be fit. We'll see you again in our next video. Ciao for now.